hard to be modest when I know I got it It's so hard to be humble while I'm being honest They looking at my wrist and ask me how I bought it I tell them it's cause I bought like the supersonics They told me I'm up next, I'm like I know I was in a booth where the time go And I'm running up the checks so I stay broke I feel like a king pink is what I say go Yes, Sam, you alright? How's it going, alright? Well, living life fast. Right. Got a little audience around us today. <laughs> it's all mad. <laughs> but, uh, so you come down in your Supra, yeah. 2JZ? Yeah, 2JZ Supra. Some big, big power, right? Yeah, yeah, about 850. 850? Yeah, well, 840. Okay, so 850 is a nice number. So, how have you got to that kind of power? Um, stop bottom end cams, 272 uh, Brian Crow cams. Um, like I said, stop bottom end, mm. big turbo. What turbo are you running? Uh, it's a Borg Warner S400. Okay. Um, so yeah, it's good for about 12, 1300 horsepower, so it's not really wow. um, pushing it really. But And what's going on with these wheels? Because they're, yeah, they're, they're, they're they? from America, so you have to sort of order them up and wait a couple of months for them. All right. So they're, um, they're one piece of aluminium, so billet aluminium. The wheels, yeah? Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and uh, yeah, they're 18 inch on the front and 15 inch on the back with a Mickey Thompson. Right, so, so so this is like, is it a street legal? Yeah, yeah, they're street legal, yeah, 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 they're street yeah. legal. Expensive? Um, no, they're not too bad, about 200 quid. Right. So, um, so yeah, not not as bad as you uh, you would think. Okay, But uh, uh, and what does that do for grip though? Yeah, it's good, it's really good. Once you get them hot, in mm. the wet they're no good, but okay. once you get them hot, yeah, they uh, they get grip. To be honest with you, it's not as bad as you would think. Um, mm. They uh, They're bad in the wet. Um, but in the dry, it's not too bad. They're just they're just not cornering wheels really. They're just um, okay. just made for. Oh, my grip, yeah, in dry weather. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, like I said, I will hook in first if yeah. they're hot. Um, but yeah, yeah, they're for the dry really. And uh, manual gearbox? Yeah, manual. Um, yeah. Not a conversion or? No, 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 no. It's the factory six-speed the get track. Um, What's it like? Stock clutch and everything? Or? No, no, no. It's a it's a spec um, super twin. Right. Um, so yeah, it's got a twin disc in it. Okay. Um, but other than that, from the from the clutch back, it's all all stock really, stock drive shafts. Yeah, mate, the car is beautiful. Mate. Yeah, thank you, mate. Is this a factory colour you were saying? Yeah, as well? yes. Um, I, b I believe they're quite rare. Um, it's called a Royal Sapphire Pearl. Right. It's um, been resprayed. Yeah, like, it's been resprayed. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I brightened it up a little bit. Yeah, because the car's mint. 22 years old, so it needed a bit of a, mm. a brighten up really. But um, yeah, and interior is looking clean as well. So yeah, all trimmed up as well. Yeah, or? I just try to keep it as simple as possible. Like one, I like the factory interior, so I just yeah. wanted to keep it. It's all aimed at the driver as well. Yeah, it? yeah, it's like yeah, it's like a cockpit really. But mm. um, but yeah, just got the seats reupholstered in Alcantara and leather, some right. blue stitching there just to match the car a little bit. But, but yeah, that's all I've done really, apart from like the two can gauge in the d dash. That's right. it. It and really. You running a e uh, sorry a Cyvex? E yeah, e yeah, Cyvex S6. I oh, yeah, I think it's cool. Um, yeah, so we've uh, got the Cyvex in there. Any buttons that can change the like boost? And yeah, stuff, so or? it's got a t it's got a touch screen in the dash, so you can go through the different modes. There's like eight different modes. Okay. And uh, yeah, it'll tell what? me everything: boost, air, air fuel. So did you say you got three settings though? Uh, no, about eight. I've got I've got three settings on like low boost, medium boost, high yeah. boost, but mm -hmm. um, but then there's like anti theft and like valet oh, mode. Okay. That comes um, with the Cyvex, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it don't come with the Cyvex, you program it in. Oh, okay, okay. But, um, but yeah, like pops and bangs, um, yeah, stuff like that, MOT mode. <laughs> okay, um, and you say it's got a stock bottom end, yeah? Yeah, stock bottom end. And just... the turbo's good for like 12, 13, Yeah, horsepower. yeah. So you, got, you got more plans for the car, or? Yeah, so um, I'm in the process of, um, of getting an engine and building it. Right. Um, everything is really built for, for 1200 horsepower, apart from the bottom end really. Is that is that going to be expensive to do? Uh, it's not too bad. I mean, unless I do sort of do a package, mm. um, they uh, they use like the stock crank um, and the block, and then uh, put some pistons and rods in it. Jeez, man! You know what? I haven't. I've definitely not seen a tire by that big. And uh, would you say it's a Borg Warner? Yeah, it's a Borg Warner uh, S400. Yeah, and it can take 12, 13, About 12, yeah. 1300, yeah. Right. So what's this around here? Is it all wrapped, heat wrapped? Yeah, all heat wrapped, yeah. And you won't need to go further than this, you reckon, turbo wise? No, no, that'll do all my needs, really. And is that what you're aiming for, 12, 1300? Yeah, yeah, I want a thousand at the wheels, so. Wow. So, yeah. yeah. And what about cooling? Anything done with that? Uh, just a radiator, co rad radiator. Yeah. Um, obviously, the big intercooler at the front. Um, but yeah, other than that, stock 
uh, clutch van. So how was the trip here? Because you travelled what? Yeah, went uh, to hour and a half. Yeah, temps are cool. Temps are cool. Yeah. Yeah, it was um, it's sunny right. day as well. It's fairly decent on petrol as well, to be honest. Yeah. With you. Yeah, ain't too bad. Brakes and suspension, anything with like that? Uh, they're on teens. I think they're called, I think they're the super streets. Right. Um, and the brakes are actually stock brakes. So the fronts are um, Lexus LS four hundred brakes um, and Brembo discs. Okay. And then the uh, back ones are the. Uh, uh, NA Super brakes. Right. Um, you have to have them brakes on the back to fit that wheel in. For the wheel, what is yeah. it? A Fifteen or sixteen inch. Fifteen wheel inch, or? yeah. Fifteen, 15 inch, yeah. inch, yeah. Okay. So, um, so yeah. And then suspension, sorry, did you say? Yeah, uh, they're Team Super Streets, I believe. Right. Um, they're set up soft at the back and then sort of stiff at the front. Right. Um, so it's set up soft to get traction. Yeah, yeah. So it squats and and. So what is the aim with the build then? Is it just going to be kind of not? An official drag car, but it, it looks like you're going down that um, front. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm not really a corner person or sort of a top speed <laughs> person. I just like, yeah. the, like it when it pushes your back. So, so what you hit top speed so far then? I haven't gone mad with it. Probably 140s, 150s. But, yeah, okay. But um, so you want to run me later? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll <laughs> we'll try. I'll we'll try. try and get a few yeah, people we'll out. Try. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll be good. All but, right. Uh, should we jump out? Yeah, definitely. Let's do it, man. <laughs> Man, I've got you some straights. We don't want no corners, right? No corners. Just straights, yeah? Just straights. Super time. So you say that you built most of this car yourself as well? Yeah. So, like I said, I bought it in stock and just got sick of the power, stock power. So I um, ripped it apart, ripped the twin turbos off and then um, just sort of started from scratch really. Didn't even have anything ordered up, just ripped them off. Yeah. And then started ordering stuff really. Um, but everything all sort of comes separate. It wasn't a turbo kit. I ordered the manifold separate, the wastegate. Done with the exhaust myself. The only thing I didn't do is the Cyvex and the paint. Right. And the tuning. Oh man, I just love the sound of the suit, yeah. man. I've got an R32 GTR. Alright. That I'm restoring at the minute. I bought it with rust. Okay. So um so yeah, just in the process of sort of restoring that at the minute. So you're so. from Colchester, which yeah. is where um Tommy. Tommy, Tommy, yeah, yeah, Tommy M5. Yeah, that's it. You're up there. So you guys all loonies around there, didn't you? Yeah, we're sort of... <laughs> you're on your big car. Yeah, there's sort of a bit of a race going on between us, I think. Yeah? I think uh, <laughs> everyone wants to be the... Oh, the, you're the, uh, 40, 1500 kilos versus yeah, yeah, nearly yeah. two times or so. They're a heavy car, but they've got a lot of torque, that V8. Yeah, and the and twin turbo. Yeah, yeah. The bloke I, who I bought it off, he had it for 14 years. Yeah. So, yeah, he's kept it, um, kept it really nice and clean. Is that your little computer over there? Yeah, so basically that's like the Tucum. Right. So that's what controls all my modes in the Cyvex and put yeah. it in low boost, like right, wet yeah. mode and yeah. shit like that. And it's on the start, you've got way more to come over here. Yeah, yeah. So basically, I thought rather than buy twice parts, mm. I just bought everything for big power. So turbo, injectors, their ID 1750s. Yeah. Um, the only thing that it will need is the bottom end built and another fuel pump really. What you want to do, look, look, medium, low boost, medium, high boost? Yeah, if you want. Yeah. Well, you can just go straight I'll in. I'll go straight in. Yeah? yeah. <laughs> Like there's a bit of like even when the boost's on, 
That's still a bit laggy, isn't it? Yeah. And then it's so uh, and it pulls you through, man. Hey, yeah, yeah, you should definitely uh, get a short shift up. Yeah, it's, they're quite long. Yeah, yeah, I was, I was thinking that on the way up. And it's like you say, the tyres are alright, isn't they? Yeah, well, like I, I said, you can feel them a bit springy, can't you? As you accelerate in, that's the absorbing. suspension really soft on the back. Okay. So yeah. it'll squat and sort of put the power into it rather than if it was really hard, it would just sort of yeah. try and spin them up. And what did you pay for the car? Like, do you not want to say that? Or? No. Because <laughs> if the bloke's watching, then. <laughs> Looking 
after the car? Is it a bit of a headache? Or? Oil changes, spark plugs, yeah. oil filters. You look after the car yourself? Yeah. Yeah, well, I, because um, I built all myself, I know how to um, fix all of it if it goes wrong or do all the services and stuff like that. It's not. And uh, who tuned the car? Uh, Lee at SRD. Right. SRD, SRD yeah, yeah, SRD. Guys, yeah. yeah, SRD tuned it.